Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. We're going to use Noclip to hack into Stan's basement. See if there's anything down there. Let's see. We're going straight down. Here we go. Whoa. Everybody, I am Kindly Kian and welcome back to Mobile Monday. We are returning to an old classic. It's none other than Angry Neighbor. I've missed dear old Stanley, the neighbor's strangest brother, and his, his very colorful house. But you may be noticing something that perhaps has piqued your interest towards the upper left-hand side of the screen. Or I can just move it over to the right-hand side of the screen. Either way, you probably see it right there. That is right, this is an Outwit mod for Angry Neighbor. Outwit has done it yet again. He made this mod a while back, but I never had access to it, so I asked him to send it over to me. He was nice enough to send me the latest version. Now, it's not quite as elaborate as the Granny Outwit mod, but it still does some pretty cool stuff that I want to play around with, and one of the most notable things that this mod allows us to do, I, I at least assume that it, it does this, is it allows us to clip through stuff. We can basically fly, and that means that we can explore the entirety of Stan's house. Now, if you're uninitiated, uh, I will introduce you guys to Stan here. Uh, let's just go through the standard rigmarole. Let's get the Outwit mod out of the way for now. I also need to remember how to actually play the game because it's been a while. There's there's a few weird kind of control quirks, I would say, with the game, but, uh, but we'll get through it. You know, we'll figure it out. There you go. We turn that bad boy off or on. We're turning the power on. That's right. We're moving into our house and then we're inside and then we take a nice little nap but first we eat a, a mcdonald's you know big mac that who knows how long it's been sitting there we'll just ignore that and hopefully not uh, face the consequences in a couple of hours my gosh have you guys ever had food poisoning before let me know if you've had food poisoning before i have it is bad and not like in a cool bad way like just bad like bad bad as a rule of thumb i avoid eating big macs that have been sitting in a house that i just purchased just kind of a pro tip but let's go say hello to stan let's see how he's been how the house is going i don't think there's anything new here i'm pretty sure that we've played this version i don't know if it's the latest version i expect that it probably is where are you stan Stan, there you are. Okay. All righty. Yep. He's, uh, he's chasing me. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was, that was very scary. I, I didn't realize how close you were behind me. I love the sandals, Stan. They're, they're looking really good. Can you, you can't go any further. There's a couple of times where I've gotten Stan hit by a car and, and, and for that, I am sorry, Stan, but you know, honestly, you should look both ways before crossing the street. It's just, it's just a, a no brainer. Should really do that. Now, we've introduced you all to Stan. If if you haven't seen Stan before. Stan used to be a T-Rex man. I don't know if if you guys remember the good old days before he actually moved his arms. His arms used to be just like this. And he would his legs wouldn't even move either. He would just float at you. It was incredibly terrifying. But he found a really good surgeon that uh, gave him the ability to actually move his limbs, to actually articulate them, move them around, gave them proper elbows. At one point, I think that he had like an extra shoulder too. It was, it was really, really strange. He went through a lot of interesting changes, let's say, but he's always been the same old Stan. So, you know, we love him for who he is. He's a special snowflake, just a very unique man. But now let's play around with this mod tool. So I'm gonna bring this over here so that you guys can see it nice and good. And so we can adjust our jump height. I actually wanna see like, what, oh my gosh. I was not expecting that dramatic of a, of an effect right off the bat. Um, that was, that was something. Yeah, uh, that is quite a jump. I've become a superhero. I, I am definitely going to be part of the X-Men in a couple of days. Now, okay, I was going to say, can I only jump straight up? But no, I can use my momentum to jump on top of Stan's house. Can I jump any higher? Oh my gosh. How, I mean, we got to take it all the way, right? Like, we could go to 500? What? 500 what? I don't know. 500 jumping 
units of measurement. That's okay. Here we go. We're just going to outer space. Oh my gosh. We jumped so high that the world beneath our feet literally disappeared. <laughs> it's, uh, that was something else. I think that there's like an invisible barrier, if I'm not mistaken. So this is an invisible barrier, but it doesn't go all the way up. So like if we play our cards right here, we should be able to jump over the barrier and then we'll, oh, I thought for a second that I was never coming back. But at this point, I think we're going to be in the neighborhood and we don't have to, uh, we don't have to worry about that invisible wall. Yeah, now we're in the neighborhood. I've done this before. I did this with the uh, the green cube. So I'm sure you guys are already familiar with the, the weird cube mechanic, but there are three cubes in this world. Magical cubes, if you will. Self-replicating cubes. You can actually see one of them on top of our own house right there. It's the red cube. The red cube is probably the most boring of all the cubes, gosh, I am jumping way too high. Can we can we lower this a little bit? Can we put this down to like, you know, I'm sure 66 will be just plenty, right? Let's see. Oh no, I'm, I'm stuck? Hello? No, let me go. I just like got stuck in the fence. Okay, that's okay. We have a solution. No clip, get me out. Thank you. Thank you. We will play with no clip a little bit later, but for now, we're just going to focus on the other tools. So now there we go. Okay. There's our jump. That's, that's a much more practical jump, although it's still incredibly high. There's the RGB cube. So if I pick this bad boy up and then I put it in my hot bar, I'm sure that you guys have seen this, but, uh, basically we can just, we can use it over and over and over. It's a very strange thing that is in this game but I kind of love it. And then there's a green cube and they all kind of have different characteristics. So the green cube allows you to basically stack a tower. I'll go grab it here real quick. We should be able to get it like super easily now that we have like mega jump. If I can just remember where it is. It's in this room, I think. Right here, right? Is this? No, that right there. Oh my gosh, that is too much. That's too much. Is this where it is? Oh, actually, wait. Okay, you know what? Let's lower our jump height so that maybe it's like, yeah, that should be good, right? That should get us into some of these windows. Let's let's try. Hoi! Oh, come on. I just need to go to like 12. Let's see if I can get it. Eh, 15? That should work, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that was good, but I didn't quite get in the window. Okay, maybe, maybe this one. We'll try this one. Hoi! Okay, that window didn't let me go in. That's very rude. Maybe that's not the room. Maybe it's somewhere. Is it? Is it this room? Was it this room? I don't know. Let's let's see if we can we can get in here, right? Is this is this the room? Is there a green cube? Oh, there's the green cube. Okay. I don't know why I forgot that that's where it was, but it did get moved around a couple of times. So the green cube is probably the most uh, effective cube, I would say, for like for like getting around. So basically, we can just. We can, we can, this is, okay, this is not going to work when I have my jump height set to a million. I do need my jump height to be set to like something though. It can't be set to, to zero. How about, okay, 200. Yeah, that's sure. That, that makes perfect sense. Can we go like that? Okay. Okay. There you go. So, so basically the green cube allows you, oh, I think we hit the, the maximum limit here, but it allows you to stack the cubes on top of each other and just keep climbing them. So you can see we're building basically a tower of green cubes. Oh my gosh. I don't know how that happened. That was kind of weird, but there you go. And then we can just keep on climbing. You can just keep on moving up. I'm moving up in the world using my green cube. So we've used this green cube to get into other weird shenanigans. And then just to complete the set, I'm going to go ahead and set my jump to 15 and let's go get the blue cube, which I believe is right over here. These are normally a lot harder to get, but because we have this incredible power, uh, it's trivial, I would say just not even an issue. So the blue cube can just can be blasted. It's just like a blue cube launcher. It's awesome. I love it. Doesn't affect Stan though. If we get Stan's attention, you'll see I can throw stuff at him and it just it just bounces off of him. He's invulnerable to the, the powers of the blue cube. Whoa! Okay. I mean sort of. He does get kind of knocked around. <laughs> 
it, it is what it is. Oh, man. This is a great game. I got caught? What? What happened there? Did I get hit by a car? I may have gotten hit by a car. It's not the first time it's happened. I guess I learned my lesson. Don't, you gotta look both ways before standing in the middle of the street. Actually, just don't stand in the middle of the street. That's probably a good good option as well. Okay, so we've shown off the power of the cubes. We've shown off the power of jumping, our move speed. Oh my gosh, this is gonna get ridiculous, isn't it? Okay, so we've set our move speed to 13. Holy cow, this is too fast. This is, okay. Yeah, Stan, you wanna play tag now? Huh? Where are you? You watching TV, you weirdo? Hey, no! You can't catch me. I'm, I'm stuck! I ran right into his arms. I ran into his loving embrace. That was a very bad idea. That is too fast. Here, let's go max speed. Let's make it even faster. Here we go. That is crazy. It's just... <laughs> it's like instant movement. Okay. Okay, wait. I'm gonna turn on jump height and speed. And then we're gonna jump over the barrier. Don't go off the cliff. Okay, you can go off the side. And that is exactly what I just did. And then we're just gonna fall to our our, our never ending death. Great, uh, turn no clip on. Can I come back, please? I just, I wanna come back, please. Okay, with the power of no clip, I've returned. Everything is fine. Just slow down, oh my gosh. You hear the little foot? Footprints, sound of my feet scuffling. <laughs> I'm like Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is so cool though. I love it. Like Stan versus Sonic the Hedgehog. I like the sound of that. That seems pretty cool. Hey, buddy. Hey, where are you? Where? Hey, hey, what are you doing? What? What was that? He just he teleported or something. I don't know. I keep getting hung up on these stupid blue blocks. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see how fast I went from his front door to my front door? I couldn't even tell where I was. It's too much. It's too much. All right. Let's get that back to, to normal. My movement speed is now zero. I actually cannot move. That's just depressing. Set it to three. Three is still very fast. It's scary fast. Okay, let's mess with the field of view. This is gonna get weird, right? Okay. Oh! So, that's what happens when you you get rid of your, your field of view. That is super weird. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's pretty cool. Uh, but you can see it's kind of zooming in, right? Am I moving? I guess I am moving because I'm moving the slider and it's moving my character on the screen. Okay, let's zoom out. Now, if we if we go all the way out with our field of view, I think it'll turn upside down, right? Oh no, there's a limit. We have a limiter there. This is this is our new field of view. Oh my goodness, this is this is very disorienting. <laughs> what a cool way to play the game, though. That would be an interesting little challenge. Hello, Stan. It seems like you're very far away from me, but you're probably right in front of me. Oh my gosh. Stan is already kind of a, an upsettingly weird looking person. And then you put him in that perspective and it's just, it's like next level weirdness. I'm digging this so far. Okay, so gravity. Now, if I set the gravity to negative 50, does it make it really, really like strong? Is it like we're training in a hyperbolic time chamber, like DBZ style? Will this make us stronger? I think it will. Like this regular chair weighs 10,000 pounds now because we've set the gravity so low. Is that how it works? Negative 50 gravity means everything's super heavy. Okay, so now if we go the other way, Oh! Oh! The, the cubes! Come back! Come back? Where? They... Okay. They just... They took off. They are... Gone forever? Quite possibly. Um, let's see what happens when I... When I throw something here. Let's just... Hoi! Oh, okay. Bye. Bye, chair. It was... It was great getting to know you. I'm glad we could spend that time together. Enjoy outer space, because that is quite clearly where you are going. I like slow gravity. It's pretty cool, but it doesn't affect me. It's kind of weird, right? Oh gosh, stuff is like stuck to his roof and whatnot. It doesn't affect Stan either. He's wearing his like 
gravity boots or something. I don't know. Maybe if I set the gravity to 50, it'll do something to him. It's not doing anything. He's invincible. He's too powerful. He knows my, my superpowers and he's already planned for them. Here, I'm gonna grab a box. Oh, I can't grab those boxes. Okay, can I grab these boxes? Maybe. Yes, I can. Let's see what happens when I throw the box. It just goes to space. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's actually really cool. So now if I grab one of the blue cubes, they're just gonna instantly get launched to space, right? Let's see, let's see. Oh, that is just dumb and I love it. There they go. Off to their home planet. Goodbye, blue cubes. Goodbye. So now, like, when I throw them inside of Stan's house, they get stuck to the roof. That's so hilarious. <laughs> this is great. Oh, he won't mind, right? I don't think he'll mind. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, all right, fine. You got me. You got me, Stan. You figured me out. All right, there's still one more tool that we need to check out, the time scale. I assume if we go up, it's gonna slow time down. I, that is not slowing time down. That is definitely speeding time up. Yeah, everything's moving way faster now. Okay, uh, can I go the opposite way? I just set it to zero, it just stopped time. And I actually can't move. I can look around, but I can't move. That is very, very interesting, okay. <laughs> Oh man, this is cool. This is really cool. I love this stuff. And honestly, this is kind of how the granny mod started. Granny's cookies was pretty much like this. It was a very basic set of tools that were designed to mess around with the game. But now it's like granny's cookies is insane. You know, being able to like play as the crow and spawn baldies and it's weird and awesome. So maybe one day we'll see that with Angry Neighbor. I don't know. Angry Neighbor doesn't have quite the following that Granny does, so I understand why Outwit wouldn't put quite as much time and energy into the mod tool for this particular game, but it would be interesting to see what he could do with a little extra time on this mod tool. But now I've saved the best part for last, the no clip. I really want to use this to just be able to explore areas of the house that we haven't been able to look at. In particular, Stan's basement, right? Like, we've beaten this game so many times and we've never actually figured out if there is a basement, if there's anything below his house. So today is the day, right? So when you get through here, you know, you, you use the, the sledgehammer, I think, to remove the planks here, and then you get the golden key, which actually we can probably just do that stuff like real quick. Quick, I'll just show you guys in case you haven't seen this. So the golden key is up here. So we grab that and then we equip that bad boy. And then the uh, the hammer, I think, oh, okay, I, I'm, I'm kind of stuck, I'm confused, I'm scared, all of the above. And then the hammer is in the closet nearby. Let's just, let's get this taken care of. Come on, go, go away, thank you. Okay, I apparently have not changed the gravity. I, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> ah! Get away from me, Stan. I'm too strong for you, I can fly now. You don't scare me anymore. So it's not the crowbar that we use, nor is it the shovel. We don't really know what the shovel is for. Still haven't figured that out. Let's grab the hammer here real quick. I'm a little bit nervous though. Okay, there's the hammer. Well, I don't know if he was, I don't know if he was nearby. I just, I got scared, I panicked, I clipped through the wall. Okay, grab the hammer, go ahead and equip that. Okay, he's upstairs now, so let's take this opportunity to smash. Come on, get him, get him. Come on, stupid, come on, get it. It's not working. What? Is this not what you're supposed to do? Am I dumb? I might be dumb. Maybe it's because I have no clip on. Here, let's let's turn no clip back off. Come on, no clip. Okay, there we go. Now try again. Huh? Ugh! It it is not working. Why? Why? Why are you so mad? Hello, game. I do not understand why this isn't working. Do I need the crowbar? Is it the crowbar? Maybe they changed it up and I kind of forgot. Okay, I guess, I guess it is the crowbar. Try the crowbar. So what's the hammer for? Like, why does the hammer even exist? Let's see. Huh. 
Oh, that worked. That is really weird. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But now we have access to this, this room with the brick wall, which is also very upsetting. Can we break the brick wall with the hammer? Is that what the hammer is for? I don't know. I can grab the hammer, but th there's Stan. There he is. Just waiting for us. Of course he is. Let me turn no clip on. Try to cheat my way into this. Grab the hammer here. Come on, grab it. There we go. And we'll clip through here. And then I want to turn no clip off. And I want to go in here. And then I want to equip the hammer and hoi -ya! Oh yeah, okay. So we can break the bricks, but then it takes you to a room that actually leads you up. Which is really strange. We were expecting to go into his basement. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use no clip to hack into Stan's basement. See if there's anything down there. Let's see. We're going straight down. Here we go. Blah. Hello? Uh... Okay... There is... Nothing here. Yeah. So... Stan doesn't have a basement. Do all that work. You finally get in there. There's this. There's a post underground. But there's... Really? Well... Oh, I thought maybe those were stairs leading down into a basement, but no, those are not stairs. I mean, they are they are steps, but they're not leading down into a basement. They're just leading up into his house. It's very disappointing. So I think it's safe to say that Stan has not yet begun construction on his basement, or he just doesn't have a basement. You know, I live in a part of the world that doesn't really have basements under their houses. Very few houses have basements, so maybe Stan lives in the same area, which kind of worries me. Could Stan be my neighbor? I hope not. He's a weirdo. So I guess the, the logical conclusion is that whatever Stan is hiding is up here and I, I i think we've been up here like you can get up here through different means right like you can get on his roof and then you can break through like certain windows and stuff and you can get into this area so this is not like a particularly secret area although some of this stuff we haven't seen before because we haven't really been able to get into certain rooms because, you know, we couldn't fly through walls. Now we can't. So we might as well do our due diligence here and just explore more of these rooms. There is the room above that, like, spooky mannequin room. Let's, let's check that out. This right here, right? So here's the creepy mannequin room. And then there's this thing, which we still haven't figured out what that's for. I don't think it does anything at this point, but maybe one day it will. And then there's this room which has like a little weird window that leads into this hallway. Like why? Why does that exist? What is going on in this house? It's just such a weird house. Stan, you're a weird dude with a weird house. This is a bathroom, right? Yeah. With one of the strangest toilets I've ever seen. At least like in a house. This is a toilet that I would expect to see at like a public restroom, not in someone's house. It's weird. Stan, you're weird. I know I've told you that already, but it's still true. Let's go up here. This is supposed to be like an elevator shaft or something. I don't really know what it is, but it's it's always been very intriguing. It goes all the way down here. So you can see, pops you out kind of in like the, the kitchen area. And you take it all the way up and uh, you end up on the roof. I don't know if one day that's supposed to be an elevator. Stan's still working on that, maybe. I don't know. There's also the room where there used to be like someone making noise, right? So we can't get in here anymore. This used to be an open hatch and I don't think you can open it now, but with the power of no clip and outwits mod, we can. So, <laughs> so that's kind of cool. This is totally different from what it used to be. In fact, this used to take you to like a hallway that had like someone like pounding on a door, which was super weird, but it also ended the game. Like you would get to this certain door and you'd walk up to it and then it would just end the game. And it wasn't like a good ending. It wasn't like, yay, you win. It was like you got caught by Stan. It was like you lost for exploring too much or something. I don't know. It was so weird, but it's totally not here anymore. Like there's no noise. So whoever Stan had locked up here is gone. That's kind of menacing, I would say. Let's go in here. Let's see what's on the other side of this 
door. What you got, Stan? What are you hiding? There's nothing, there's nothingness. Okay, I do see that there's a pipe here and actually there's a vent attached to that pipe. That is interesting. And where does that go? That pops out right here. Huh, I wonder if at some point you're gonna have to crawl through this vent. It seems really small. Like, that is a very tiny vent. Uh, I don't know if any normal sized human being could fit in there, but who knows? Maybe I'm not a normal sized human being. I don't know. Maybe I am a small child. That's a possibility. So that's interesting. This is all stuff that we have not been able to see before. So this is actually really cool. I'm super glad that we have access to this tool. What is this? What is this room? Is this a room that we can get into normally? I don't think it is. This is just a just an empty room. There's just a lot of just empty rooms. It's very strange. Okay, so I think we've explored pretty much all of this floor. And then there's the top floor, which, uh, which again has like very minimal anything. Like <laughs> there's, there's really not a lot going on here. This is where we get the blue cube, right? Yeah, blue cubes hanging out over there. And then above this is, uh, is this room. Wait, isn't there a room over here? No, they took it out. There used to be a room up here that you could walk in, but there's there's nothing here. So you just have the top of the, what I suppose is like an elevator shaft type thing. And then that's it. This used to be open, I think, in the previous version. And you could walk in here. It was just a big empty room. There was nothing to see, but now it's, it's closed off. Definitely closed off. And then there's this little thing. I don't know if there's anything in here. Nope, there's nothing in here. Complete emptiness and sadness. And then there's one more like side room. Where is it? Where are you? There you are. This one you can go inside of, but there's really nothing here. It's weird stuff. It's definitely weird stuff. I don't know. It's clear to me that Stan does not have a basement. That is a little disappointing because being that this was kind of one of the first Hello Neighbor knockoff slash fan games. I don't know what you want to call it. I was expecting that Stan at some point would have a basement just like his bro. He's trying to be just like his his, his brother, Mr. Peterson. But maybe he's trying to change it up. He's He's got a weird attic instead of a weird basement. Either way, this mod tool by Outwit is really, really cool. Thank you, Outwit, for sharing this with me so that I could share it with my audience. I hope that you guys got a kick out of it as much as I did. It was fun to explore Stan's world in a brand new way. But guys, that is gonna do it for this episode of Angry Neighbor. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.